our sponsors because all of us are volunteer led and you know sponsors are such a great help to make everything happen. So we'll hand off the stage to Steven from Microsoft to share a little bit about Microsoft and Bizpa. Good evening, everybody. Uh, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, welcome to Microsoft. Um, I'm sure that some of you guys have visited the office before. I hope that everybody have enjoyed the food. Um, we are really happy to actually be hosting Tech Ladies this evening. Uh, a little bit about myself. My name is Stephen New. So I'm actually leading the Microsoft BizSpark and Startup initi Initiatives in Singapore. So one of the startup programs that I actually take care of is called the BizSpark program. The BizSpark program is actually targeted for very young startups less than five years old that's incorporated in Singapore and making less than $1 million in revenue. And the program actually provides you guys with free software, free technical support, and also access to our business network. It's free to join. Um, the brochures are actually right out at the, at the front counter, so please feel free to actually take it back home, and if you have any more questions, uh, please go onto the website, or you can uh, let Alicia know, and then she'll actually connect you guys with us. So hope that you guys have a very good evening. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. So if you need, uh, if you're a startup or like looking to start a startup and need free stuff, go to go to Bizpark. Um, even my PowerPoint and, and Word on my Mac is actually all from Bizpark. I love free stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to position this. So I hope all of you know that you are at the Tech Ladies event. If not, just pretend that you know, and I'll tell you what it is. So we are a community-led initiative, so we're not a registered not-for-profit, so it's quite a community for women to just gather to really connect and learn and advance as programmers in the tech industry. So why do we need to do this, right? So first of all, I believe that technology is a, is a superpower to do good. I think that it's so accessible to everyone with a laptop, and it can really create some really good impact. So Tech Ladies want to be um, a platform for people to do this. And technology is for everyone. Unfortunately, the tech industry is a very male-dominated one. Um, whether is it structurally or just socially, this happened. So Tech Ladies, we want to create an environment for women to really come and enjoy technology because I think it's awesome. Having said that, um, we are, there are men here, so please be nice to them. <laughs> I think men and women can contribute to make this a diverse community. Everyone has a part to play. So even though we are woman-focused, we, we are not anti-men. So be nice to both, everyone. Okay, so what do we do? So at Tech Ladies, we do three things, community, education, and opportunity. And I'll quickly through, bring you through uh, what each of, each of them are. So community is basically stuff like this, just to gather people around to share stories, share insights, um, yeah, like events like this. Education is something that probably all of you or most of you are uh, sort of like keen in, is to really learn about technology, and we do that through the Tech Ladies Bootcamp. And lastly, you know, with all of these skills, what do you do, right? So at the end of the journey, we also want to help you to get more visibility in the, in the industry, either by speaking at a conference or also getting a job. And of course, CAT. <laughs> so uh, once again, like Tech Ladies, we do three things. Um, we really want to help people with zero knowledge all the way all the way to existing programmers in the industry. And if you don't remember what we do, just remember CEO. <laughs> okay, so is this pace all right or am I talking really fast? Awesome. We're okay? Sorry? Okay. okay, thank you. Um what stump? So this is my slide, my wordiest slide. Sorry about that. So but this is the I'll briefly bring you through what is the Tech Ladies Bootcamp. So this is a ten week part time bootcamp, so you don't have to quit your job. And we want to teach women how to code by having them create products because creating product is the best way for for a beginner to learn how to code. And we don't want you to create something useless that nobody cares about. So we have you to do good by creating products that NGOs or non-profit organizations really need. And it is designed to help women with zero coding background, um, near zero, sorry. So 
That means that people who are already um, really good programmers, you can help yourself. People with, <laughs> people with zero programming knowledge might be a bit hard for you because we're not sure that if you know that programming is really for you. So how does this work? So we believe in teamwork and providing peer support. So we have you work in groups of three led by a head coach, which you will hear from, uh, you will hear them talk later. And um, this is the second time we are, we are organizing the bootcamp. And in the first bootcamp, we accepted nine participants, out of which three of them has gotten tech-related jobs. And uh, one of them actually spoke at a conference in front of the creator of Ruby programming language. So she's awesome. And yes, we, um, like I said, like we're not really like a, a government-related things. So we accept people from everywhere, like even Mars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not Elon Musk, because he's a guy, but people from Mars. <laughs> okay, so to make up for this really worthy slide, cat break. Okay, so just relax your eyes a bit because it's another worthy slide. So let's talk a bit more about the second boot camp. So, and, um, you know, there's different programming language out there. There's like PHP, Python, iOS, Objective-C, and stuff like that. But for this boot camp, we are only focusing on a Ruby programming language. And uh, there will be five coaches in total, and we'll be helping five NGOs in total. So if you were to sign up for it, you will work in a team of three, helping one NGO and led by one coach. And you will stay for that same program, uh, the same project throughout the 10 weeks. Yeah, so because it's three, uh, three in a team and five coach, you can do the math, we'll be accepting 15 participants this time around. And your, so in the curriculum, um, the coaches will be guiding you through like what new concepts and what kind of other resources that you can learn, but it's largely self-driven. Um, we want to help people who want to help themselves, and we're here to support you. So um, we will meet every Saturday for three to four hours in in-person session. This time around, I'll be holding it at the National Design Center near Bugis. And... Uh, Yes, yeah, although sometimes there are people who stay all the way to like seven, the latest in the first batch. So, and we we'll also expect you to do code your own throughout the week. And so all in all, about 15 hours a week sounds about right. So, we didn't create tech ladies to make money because it's a really shitty business model. But having said that, um, we need money to keep this going. The food you see out there, the tools that we're going to use, all of this need money. That's why we're charging for this boot camp. Having said that, if you cannot afford it, I'm happy to do a full scholarship for you. So if you can contribute, contribute. If you can't contribute, that's fine. We welcome you too. Okay. So we hear about the five coaches, five coaches. So here are the five coaches, and they're all here. So these coaches, um, I think they're a little bit shy to dress themselves up, so I'm going to dress them up. They're awesome. Um, they are all industry experts, uh, people who have coded a long time. Um, some ha most, of, uh, All of them have uh, teaching experiences, so you're in fantastic hands. Um, I'll have them talk more about themselves later on. And the NGOs that were helping this time, you will also hear from four of them. Unfortunately, Mats Rescue couldn't be here with us. Um, so, yeah, you, you can read that, huh? Okay. So, let's start with the first NGO. We'll have Gabe to represent Mats Rescue and also share more about his project. <laughs> 